Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm very happy to see you here today. I'm Veronica Me, and I prepared a very exciting painting project for you today. As you can see, I'll be using all these rainbow colors and I mixed these acrylic colors with pouring medium. This is the consistency of my colors. And at the beginning, I would like to show you how I mix my colors. I'll be using this yellowish green, Indian yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, mauve, cerulean blue and also this turquoise color. So let's show you how I mix these colors so you know everything and you'll be able to create this spe special project as well. So I've got my cup here and I, I'm using these types of colors from Lucas. I buy these in local art shop but I'm sure you can order these somewhere online. So I put a little bit of my acrylic color here in my cup, like this. And then I mix it up with my pouring medium, which I created from Craft PVA glue. I mixed 60% of glue and 40% of water. This mixture creates my pouring medium, which helps me to get beautiful cells on my canvas. So I poured like, it was like 40% of acrylic color and 60% of pouring medium. Let's mix it up very well. It's important to mix it up very well. Otherwise you end up with a lump, lumps in your colors. So mix it up, it takes about one minute like that perfect and the consistency of your paint should be like honey it shouldn't be too thick and also it shouldn't be too thin if it's too thick then you can have cracks in your pour and if it's too thin the colors will mix all together and create a muddy pour so make sure the consistency is just right and what i also do i add two drops of silicone oil in each color in all of these and this one as well. So one, two, that's two drops. Mix it up a little bit, not too much. And that's prepared for my pour. Great. And I've got my round canvas, which is size 40 centimeters. And at the beginning, I'm going to pour this mixture of white acrylic color and pouring medium in the middle of my canvas and spread it everywhere because I want my colors to spread nicely everywhere and this is the same mixture just 40% um, of acrylic color and 60% of pouring medium but there is no silicone in my white in my base color so let's pour this all here maybe keep a little bit for later on and I'm going to spread it everywhere Perfect, so my canvas is covered with mixture of white and pouring medium and now it's time to pour my colors in this plastic bottle or I don't know how to call it, plastic container and then I will create a ring pour which creates a beautiful obstruction on my I'm pour. to put some white on the bottom just to cover the bottom part like that. Now I'm going to start with my green. So green goes there, yellow, orange, cadmium red. Move cerulean blue and this beautiful turquoise blue. And the most exciting part comes. I'm going to pour these colors here in the middle of my canvas. Let's pour some white also here in the middle. And 
and I'm going to pour these beautiful colors here in the middle of my canvas. beautiful mixture of colors and now it's time to tilt it everywhere Perfect. Now I'm going to show you a little magic. I'm going to use my heat gun, which is cheap one from Lidl. It has got on and off. It's very hot. And I'm going to create cells around these corners, but not in the middle, just around these corners. So. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Look at these beautiful cells. And now I need to get this dry to create my very special piece of art. So it takes about five or days or a week, better week, to let this dry and then I can start painting my special project on it. Look at these beautiful cells. So today we went to visit this beautiful little spring with fresh water and it lies in the middle of this beautiful forest and this actually inspired me to paint this amazing pour with trees. So after a week my round pour is dry and look at the beautiful cells. They will be perfect for my tree project. So I can start turning this acrylic pour into special forest acrylic pour. And for that I start with the middle part. I will paint the middle part white, but it won't stay white. I will use a little bit of gray and blue, but it's just for the beginning. So I can see where, where the sky will be. Now I'm going to use my ruler and my whiteboard marker and this is just for the reference. I need to see where my trees will be. So I will draw these lines and then I will paint some beautiful trees. Let's decide where to draw them. So maybe one here. And I will draw some big trees and also small trees, which will be like in the background. Some of them will be at the front, some of them in the background. And don't worry, this won't be visible, so only a few little trees. Now 
the great thing is about the marker is that if I make a mistake, I can wipe it off with wet baby wipes. They should all be pointing in the center of my pore. So now I can show you a little detail. So I've got some shades of Naples yellow, yellow ochre, and also some raw amber, maybe some white. And I'll be mixing all these colors together to create a tree. And I also have got loads of different brushes. I don't know which ones I'll use, I'll see. Uh, just the uh, blending brushes and these round brushes for acrylics. Let's put these colors here and I can mix them together and create a nice shade of colors which I want. Yep, this seems like a good color for my tree. So let's start by painting this big one here. Let's use a smaller brush for these details. Okay, perfect. Now I can start adding some details into my tree. Let's put some more white here for lighter shades to paint the tree trunk with some little details, lighter and darker shades. This part will be darker and this part is lighter. Great, so that's my first tree. Now I'm going to paint many more and show you the finished results. So I always will be painting one big one and then just two or three smaller ones, which will be like hidden in the background and then the main one again and the smaller ones here, so.
and now it's time to paint beautiful blue sky so i'm going to use a little bit of this cerulean blue for my sky and maybe a little bit of white as well let's start it will give that beautiful sky feel in the middle And this is the result of my three acrylic pour and I just love the result. It feels so good when I look at it because it reminds me of forest and just going to the woods fills me with calmness and happiness and it's just good for my soul. So sometimes if you feel stuck, if you can't find new inspiration, go to the forest and I promise you will find so much inspiration there. And I hope you also enjoyed this video. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to see you again. Stay safe and create. Bye.